Hey, near here, and today we're going to be bringing you yet again another preseason race from PRD. This is race two of the final preseason race that I ended up participating in around Silverstone in the Radical SR3 LMP3 car in quotation marks and I hope those quotation marks are fairly large as in I don't really understand the full origin of this car and I'd have to look it up. Maybe next episode I'll be able to correct myself again because hindsight is 2020 or shall I say 420A but um, we are currently doing a bit of start testing as in start launch testing with the, one of the first gear tricks that I learned in my first season but in my first season I had a clutch so my starts were horrendously good um, this season they're gonna be about average because I don't have a clutch but anyway we're currently warming the uh, brakes and the tire temperatures and we are preparing to go on to our grid spot here and we're trying not to miss it once again. I believe we did reset the brakes before we ended up going green. And we are now setting up to wait for the red lights. All set, thank you. We're in. All cars ready? Red. 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 Green. And we have gotten off the line fairly slowly, but there's been an incident up ahead. Scott Mick has gotten an electric start here. He's made it three right in his turn one, caused a bit of an incident there, lost the rear end, ran the static energy. We're going up the inside of Foxifier into turn number three or four. I can't remember the numbers at this point. This is just getting a little bit too ridiculous. Bonsaiing down the inside of Foxifier, losing the rear end and managing to nab the fourth position as he spins off into the background and we're still on officially lap one of the race we're gonna see if we can dive down the inside of static energy very easy on the brakes as it is the first lap here managing to hang on to third three as of now but it's not over yet we need to go around our worst corner in the game Lawfield in Silverstone Hanging on to the back of Static Energy, Ali G, whatever you'd like to call him, thinking about an inside of, uh, move up the inside, can't quite get it done, as no, not really, in his valiant blue liveried car that I can't see at the moment, going, trying to go around the outside, thinks better of it in the high speed section. It's the first lap. The tires are cold. We did sit for a little bit and we're having a very hard time getting through Chapel coming down the main straightaway. No, not really getting all of the speed from behind us as he can. Tries to go around the outside. We're going to hold the middle here to give him the least amount to go, but we don't do it quite well. And he easily goes around the outside of us. No qualm about it. We get some speed in the middle of the corner, but he just gets the gear shifts on the exit. So we're going to take conservative in the next corner. He almost runs into the back of Static Energy, who is checking up for SVT Cobra. He's going to hold on to the fourth position for now. We're going to stay on to the back of him, drafting him all the way down the front stretch for lap three. We're going to cut over here as fast as we can. No, not really running a little bit wide of the track. We're gonna dive it down the inside into turn number four, or turn number three. He's gonna dive it back down the inside, forcing us wide, because we had to double check onto him. We weren't sure if he was actually trying to make a move or not. And we're now behind him in the fifth position, Scott Mick, very close behind in pursuit. He's going to look for a move up the inside, so we're going to break as late as we can. We lose a little bit of traction going in. We just weren't as smooth on the brakes, and Scott Mick's going to try and go around our outside. We're going to hold and hug onto that inside line, try and get the exit, but we can't quite get it done. Scott Mick performing the cut back on the exit of the corner, and as in the look of it, it's like two and three wide up ahead of us. Not sure what's going through their minds. Into the next corner, marker board's been taken out. Those three are struggling up ahead of us. Scott Mick goes up 
our inside or around our outside I can't even remember to get P number five and now we're back to where we started on the first lap we're uh, trying to get through the high speed section with that tide looking car of static energy holding P number two no not really seems to be in some type of pursuit Scott Meek seems to be pressuring SVT Cobra looking to go around the outside can't quite get it done and dusted over with so he just uh, takes it easy on the inside we managed to carry in a decent amount of speed but we get a, not a wondrous exit compared to these two we're gonna go down the inside three wide and now two wide I back out of it just a little bit to give Scott make some room we lose the rear end trying to hang on to the back of Scott Mick, SVT Cobra leaving the lane open. We're now very close to Scott Mick. We've got all the speed in the corner. We're right next to him. We've essentially got the corner hat. We're going to take the inside line and he, he doesn't give it up. So we both go around the outside. Typical racing incident. Could have backed out of it, but when you're that close, you're not going to. Crazy Dog running into SVD Cobra. Uh, Sinister coming in for the action around the outside. We tap SVT Cobra a little bit. And um, right now it's a bit of a bump and grind coming on to the back straightaway. We're going to try for the three wide again, which is now two wide as Crazy Dog goes up into P number five. And we're going to uh, take it relatively easy on the brakes because we don't know how well SVT Cobra is going to try and hold on to that. We lose the rear end. We managed to go around the outside of him on our worst corner of this track. We've just not been able to get the speed that our competitors have throughout this portion of the race. And in fact, in either of the two races, we're now back where we started. I, I told myself I wasn't going to have another race where I finished lower than I did as I had to uh, shift early and lift a little bit to give up all of that time. We ran straight over the curb all four wheels and we're going to go through the final section now as we do really slowly as we messed up the entry. Sinister getting a brilliant exit out of Chapel is going to try and go around the outside but it's going to be the inside for this next corner. It's too wide ahead of us and we're too wide as well. A drag race into the fast sweeping right hander. Sinister gets it really late on the brakes. We managed to get the cutback done on him just a little bit. He's an inch ahead of us but he has to give the space. We're going to try and go around the the outside can't get it done he's gonna go down the inside we're gonna try and force some weight transfer in here to get a good exit but it's not the greatest exit as we were battling sinister just then and we are now successfully behind sinister attempting to get our sixth position back which isn't the best position to be into for the race and honestly not where I really want to be but he seems to be breaking away at an alarming rate as we cut over to later in that lap he's gonna go down the inside of static energy bumps that tide looking vehicle over there we're going to try and go around the outside of static inside of sinister into the fastest section of the track he backs out of the move and we're back up into p number three not sure what's been going on in this race but we've made up quite a few positions for this uh 10 person grid here today at Silverstone as Sinister is going to try and go up the inside once again. We're going to break a little early. We're going to go for the cutback maneuver. He loses the he loses the back end of his car under braking and we managed to get back up into P3 trying to make the wall of mech zeros that he's famous for going a little over the curb sinister's gonna go back up the inside of the final corners we mucked up the exit horrendously and unlike the first lap where uh, either of us failed to yield in the turn number one i'm gonna yield to scott nick because i do not need another incident on my shoulders glad that i did because we would have been punted off of the track had i not for the second time in a row. So we're going to cut on over to the next set of laps here in just a moment, where as we can see Scott Sinister going very slowly over into the, over into the barriers. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, and we've got an official report. Sinister's engine has cut out and I don't think he's out of the race as it did 
cut back on later in that race, but it was to his it it was it was um, it was quite unfortunate as there was a bit of a it, it, he could have had a battle at the end of the race with the leaders with the pace he was showing and that incident was just unfortunate. But as we cut on over the next lap and what what apparently no not really after his first lap incidents has caught up with us. So that's quite nice. Maybe we might have a battle at the end of the race. We only got a, we've only got a, approximately four laps to go. So we're going to see if we can hold the position here as we are coming down onto the second to last lap of the race and <laughs> we're already making mistakes in the first sector. No, not really. He's almost gotten close enough to make a maneuver on us. Going through the double left-hander onto this small front straightaway. And he's about seven tenths behind us. Will we make the next set of corners quickly enough to get anything done? We end up botching this corner once again as we've been doing all weekend, but apparently No Not Really has gotten a more shocking start. As we're now on the last lap of the race, and as you can see, my mirrors are full of No Not Really. His car is now giant as we're making even more mistakes, silly rookie errors. And on the exit of this corner, No Not Really is now right beside us. I'm gonna give him a pinch of a squeeze and I'm gonna go back to the outside. He tries to fake to the outside of that and then tries to go on the inside of this corner. He's just trying to make overtakes and I'm not sure whether or not he's gonna run me over or not. <laughs> With the aggression he is showing here today and the overspeed that he's been having for this last lap of the Grand Prix. Driving like the honey badger himself as we don't get the greatest exit out of the uh, quick right hander. We're gonna try and see if we can back him up into Maggots, Beckets, and Chapels, but he's he's gotten smart. He's backed off, gotten a better exit on the final stretch of corners, and he's now gaining down the straightaway. Of course, we're going to hand him the outside for the corner, which isn't the greatest move, but we move over to the middle to give him the least amount of move to room to maneuver, give ourselves some entry speed. We come out right next to him. We have to lift in order to avoid hunting him off the track. And we're gonna go around the outside and we just managed to touch his door. Not expecting him to hold his line for whatever reason, I don't know. I must be some type of rocket scientist. But uh, we're gonna come across the line. No, not really on the podium and we've made it into the fourth position so a decent race from us so far managed to get up two positions and uh also managed to to accuse no not really of smacking a door that he didn't smack so hope you guys enjoyed the video Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content similar to this, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side of a quarter. Peace.